兄弟なんだから別にいいだろい,いいわけあるかーエロゲーじゃないんだっつーの帰ったら人生相談だからね Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast, the show on the internet about a bunch of people who make stuff talking about stuff. I'm the best guy ever, <laughs> and today we're joined <laughs> by Digibro. I'm alive. Very true. We've got、For、Monkey Jones. For you, I'm alive. <laughs> For you, I'm Tom awake. Tom Oliver. <laughs> Yeah. I'm alive for me. Woo! Hey, good. And that's it. We're、We're、all just alive. That's true.、Um, Which, after our podcast yesterday, Monkey, that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't believe that's it. That's very true. That's very true. Though this will be, it'll be a week and one day when this goes up. But no matter. Okay. Let's get right to it.、Uh, all right, people. Topic for today. Incest.、Uh-oh. We're talking about incest. That's what it is. So let me get,、uh, let's get some dictionary definitions off of the Urban Dictionary, of course.、Uh, okay, there's two dictionary definitions that are good for this. Okay, first one having sex with members of one's own family. Fine.、Uh, and the second one is、direct. it's very direct、uh, the way the British royal family keeps itself <laughs> German. <laughs> I like that a lot. One of the few、I、times、like、the Urban Dictionary was actually funny. <laughs> yeah, they did it good this time. Uh, well, shit, fam. Let's just launch into it. Literally,、so、fam. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Very well said.、Um, okay, where do we start? I do want to say into this? that I'm、mm-hmm. the one who said we have to do this episode because two weeks ago we had the fetish cast and all the comments、right. were bitching, Mumkey, why didn't you talk about your fetishes, Mumkey? And I said, fuck it. You know what?、Mm-hmm. Let's just do a whole goddamn episode about incest so I can just get it all out there. So I, I begged and pleaded <laughs> and got this to happen. And, and I was、That's、also、good. demanded to be on this by Mumkey. So. <laughs> So, That's Monkey,、right. since, you, since, you wanted to, since this is your podcast and you tend to get shortchanged on the dialogue in these, why don't you give us the big intro? Oh, boy. Well, I, I do have a big incest related story about my personal life that I've been waiting to tell. If we want to just start off with that or if we want to wait for <laughs> later. Let's do it. Now, let's、ahead. do it now. Oh, okay. Okay, folks, this is going to take us all the way back to my freshman year of high school. The story of how incest changed my life forever. In a either positive or negative way, that'll be up to the viewer to decide. <laughs> First of all, excellent. A question for you folks at home. Let's go around the horn. And I mean, you guys, not the fucking audience, because I can't reply. <laughs> do you think it's okay? And I, I was under the impression that it is okay after reading Harry Potter. Do you think it's okay to date your best friend's siblings? That's a tough one. Yes. You know, it's a sticky situation. Um,. Uh, I, is it possible to do it right? Yes, it is possible. It, it can be done. I mean, I think it's definitely okay, but if your best friend has a problem with it, then it's going to cause friction in your relationship. But, yeah. like, yeah. there's a lot of s- siblings who won't care.、They're、like, yeah, go ahead, fuck my sister. I don't give a shit. <laughs> well, that was one of those situations I was in. I was a freshman. My girlfriend was a year younger, and、mm-hmm. uh, we, we met because I, my best friend, who I guess we'll call.、Uh, Uh, Harper, because I have a Harper Lee book right in front of me. So, my、okay. best friend Harper, a year older. Is it,、so、that's, is it that's to kill a mockingbird by chance? No, it's to go, go set a watchman. Only two. <laughs> because I stole、okay. a copy of Go Set a Watchman from the store I was working at because I was like, oh, there's a bunch of controversy. I wonder if this is even worth it. And then I never even opened it. I、is、just that, have it sitting on my shelf. It's the sequel to, to Kill a Turns Mockingbird. Turns out it's, it's the, the prequel, actually. Yeah.、Oh. Well, Turns out it, Atticus Finch a little bit racist, a little bit racist. It's not actually a prequel. It's like the original incarnation of To Kill a Mockingbird that she wrote, and、oh, then realized、okay. it was shit, and then scrapped it and used the same characters to write a better book. Because in this one, Scout is like an adult,、uh, even though Scout's like a child in To Kill a Mockingbird. But <laughs> enough about that. There's no、uh, Atticus Scout incest unless you go to a certain part of <laughs> Tumblr, which I have definitely been to. <laughs> so I'm dating my best friend's. Younger sister, two、mm-hmm. years younger than him. One I'm just year picturing Scout、me. now. You're dating Scout. I'm dating Scout. <laughs> s Very tomboyish.、Okay. Yes. And, and her older brother, Bo. Bo is, you know, not enjo- appreciating this. <laughs> Are you picturing, like, your imagination of Scout from reading the book or, like, the movie version of Scout?、Uh, my, my imagination. Like, this little girl <laughs>、okay. with, like, a bob、God. cut and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. You know, me and the girl, we're dating, and like, I'm, I'm 15 and she's 14, so she doesn't really want to do any of you know, the, the sexy stuff. Like, she, we can kiss,、mm-hmm. we can hold hands, we can hang out, but she d o n t want to touch that dick. 
She don't want to show me those titties. <laughs> she don't want to let me go cave exploring, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. yeah. So imagine my surprise. Towards the end of the relationship, I find out that this girl has cheated on me. Not only with my best friend, but with oh, no. her own brother. <laughs> Whoa. And Whoa. So that's, Dang. that's two. That's two major betrayals. Girlfriend mm -hmm. cheating on you. And also, oh, yeah, my best friend <laughs> slept with uh, my girlfriend or whatever the fuck. They didn't they sleep actually together. Fucked? They didn't they sleep had... together. Oh, oh, okay, okay. But, but the, so that's two major hurdles. So what, did they, what did they do if not sleep together? Well, that's the thing. The third thing is, you know, I, I'm always, you know, you know me, I'm a pushing guy. So, hey, how about you touch my dick today? She's like, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. So mm -hmm. I find out that she gave her own brother a, a big old handy in the living room. Um. Down when the parents are upstairs sleeping, give him a big old handy, make him come all over her hand, show off those titties. Me? What does monkey get? Not a damn thing. I, I guess I, she only likes her relatives because I didn't get shit. I can Price only assume hose, where this is going, because I know where my mind is going, is that you jacked off to this image forever. <laughs> like, ever since, this is all you've thought about. You know, it it was heartbreaking, and it was demented, and I'm still friends to, uh, I guess, Bo, Harper Lee Bo, whatever mm -hmm. we're calling him, to this day, and I don't talk to that bitch, because, oh boy, do I want to go, and I guess I have to, I guess I have to. It was, it ruined everybody's life. It ruined everybody's sure, life. Sure, sure. Because she told this to me, like, out of guilt or something, and nobody else knew. Mm -hmm. And the other important part of the story is that their mom is the most hardcore Christian woman in the entire world. Oh, no. And we would all hang out, because every Wednesday uh, after school, we would go to their place, like a big group of friends. And then they would take us to church. And we would do, like, the, the Wednesday night church thing. And I, I was already well into my atheist years, but I went just because it was fun. And we, uh -huh. we did not do any of the church <laughs> things. We just fucked around because it was great. So, so I'm like, okay, this mom is probably not going to be okay with this happening. So I guess I'll tell somebody who can tell somebody to tell her because I'm not letting this go by, baby. <laughs> also... There was like a, um, a a speech competition sort of thing through the church where like all these church people would go to like the big uh, big arena area in downtown Des Moines. Did and, did you do a speech about how this girl gave her brother a hand job? Is that no. where you're going with this? So like okay. by speech, I mean like it's different types of performances. So you can do skits, you can do music or whatever. And me mm -hmm. and Harper Lee, we did a, a an atheist duo Christian rap performance. And the, the judges <laughs> fucking loved it, and we won a trip to Michigan because we were so Whoa. good. And then right after, all of this emerges, and the mom finds out and fucking places both of them in solitary confinement and, like, sets up nanny cams all throughout their house to make Shit. sure that their kids aren't fucking anymore. And uh, so I, I lost myself a trip to Michigan, and she wouldn't let us go because of this. So Wait, hang on. Did you, did you do the rap thing with the girl or with the guy? With the guy. Okay, that's what I yeah. thought. Women don't have talent. I still, okay, I, I still know the lyrics. If you want to hear a little bit of it, yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Jesus, the one, turned a fish into a ton, turned water into wine, and he also healed the blind by just spitting in the dirt. He could make blind eyes work. If you got a problem, he could do a miracle for you, <laughs> and that's most of it. Hell yeah! The crowd was dope, pumped. Dude. They were, they were fucking chanting and dancing and shit. And and the black judge said, "Yo, that's some good shit." <laughs> on a trip to Michigan, and that man went on to be what Kanye was, what West. What was the trip to Michigan for? Like, what were you gonna do in Michigan? Because uh, so it was like the regional part of the contest, and then Michigan okay. was like the nationals, where we would perform our rap in front of like with all the other oh, okay. rappers. And we're like these two pasty yeah. white guys who aren't even Christian doing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> man, what a tale! What a yarn! So but yeah, as, you, as far so as you're the, still friends with Harper, did yeah. did I'm, I assume you would know if this ever happened again? Like, does he still fuck his sister? Well, the the thing is, after this came out and the mom fucking laid down the hammer, that girl is now the most sheltered, like yeah, like hidden yeah. from the society, hardcore Christian person I've ever encountered. Wow. And I, I don't even think I could. I would have speak expected the reverse. I would have expected her to go like full fucking slut or something. No, I think they went pretty hard on her. I think that 
they, they like the, the parents her. fucking ended her life after that shit. Well, see, Fuck. see, this is this is good because this ties into our larger discussion of incest. No one's life should be, you know, in a major way, uh, curtailed or changed just because they happen to give their brother a hand job <laughs> one time. <laughs> yeah. It's not that big a deal, everybody. It's all we could all relax well, about I, that I, shit. I'm curious right now. I know Monkey's an only child. No, um, I, I have a younger brother. Oh, that's Patchy. right. Yeah, Patchy. Why course. do I keep forgetting about Patchy? You've got a yeah. younger brother. I've got two younger brothers. Nate's got an older brother, a younger sister. Tom, you've got right. two younger sisters, right? Correct. Yes. Mm-hmm. So most of us, I, I feel like there's got to be a big difference in like the perception of incest between me and Mumkey and Nate and Tom. <laughs> yeah, I definitely <laughs> think so. I'm sure that's true. And I, and I also think that it comes like like your perception of it. It's not just affected by, like, whether or not you have siblings of the opposite sex, but also just, like, how close you are with your family and sure, in general. Sure. So I'm very curious to hear. I think I might hear, surprise you. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. I want to know. As I, I know, um, well, anyway, I, I want to hear from Tom first. Mm-hmm, what do you mm-hmm. think of this? Because I don't know what you're coming into this with at all. Yeah. Um, I mean... I guess as someone who has two sisters, I can't. I can't even fathom doing that. Like you know, I mean, yeah. I don't have any attraction to them. They're they're good people. I I'd, I'd go to war for them if they needed me, but uh, I wouldn't do that. Sorry. Well, just so we're clear, I mean, you know, only some of us have sisters, but we've all got a mother. We've that's all true. got a mother. Everybody. See, that's yeah. where I draw Tom the also line. Also, has a, not the best relationship with this mom. <laughs> that's no. true. That's true. Uh, and all that sexual tension, dude. You know, it's. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Well, the thing 100%. is, like, like, I don't think any of us would fuck any of our actual family, but right, I right. think the way that you feel about your family affects how, how interested you are in, like, incest porn. So, like, I'm wondering, Tom, like, do, do you like incest porn at all, any of the different relationships? I don't find any of that particularly... Uh arousing or interesting like i mean mm-hmm. there i've seen like incest stuff and to me it's like completely like i guess it's just neutral because like my view on incest in general is that like i feel like we just need to stay out of people's bedrooms in general uh sure. as long as there's consent that's fine i don't really care uh it's not my business and i don't see the harm in it i think there's way worse things to do than to fuck a family member if they're both consenting and of age mm-hmm. um i mean like yeah, people are going to think it's fucked up, sure, but, like, I don't, I just, I don't really care. Like, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Like, you know, if you can fuck dudes, classic if you can fuck dudes who are women, like, why can't you, like, yeah. that seems, that seems relatively banal in the grand scheme of things that we've allowed to become culturally accepted. So, yeah. mm-hmm. I, I just, I don't see any sort of, like, controversy about it. I think probably, like, if you wanted to have a kid with a family member, that's when I'd start to draw the line because then you're talking about like genetic issues at some right. point, you know? You know, I whenever I bring that up, people always tell me that like, oh, actually it's not really that common. It's a pretty unlikely thing. And you know, at, at some point, like where we're kind of making a, a calculation, are we prepared to like enforce a rule to say like, yes, you should not have k- uh, kids with your siblings because like there is an increased likelihood of, you know, genetic problems or whatever but like is that really our business you know to to like if they want to have a fucked up re- retard I mean, baby we definitely let people with genetic mm-hmm. problems have kids okay yeah, here's right. the thing we, we let know. stupid people breed we let yeah. stupid people breed and why do we allow that yeah that's the thing that that's, that's well here's that's the thing i don't think i don't uh, way of putting i don't it. <laughs> i don't yeah, think right? it should be Ill- illegal but I think mm-hmm. it definitely i think it's ethically irresponsible so that, yeah. i guess like that you have to like make the dis- the distinction between like what do I find personally mm-hmm. ethically wrong to do and what do I think should be uh, legally do you uh, think it's prevented. also like if if you have like I don't know if I don't know a good example I don't know if Down syndrome or anything is like hereditary yeah. but like if you had something like that and mm-hmm. there was like a an equal chance you were gonna pass it on to your kids as like incest has uh, of, of yeah. a genetic defect. Do you think it's also ethically irresponsible to have kids if you have Down syndrome or something of that nature? That could you know, that. I mean that that kind of is it is it unethical to have a child with Down syndrome like at all? Like like because that is a person who's alive and yeah. you know can live and stuff. So it's not like it's like evil to have a person with that. And they're pretty much just gonna live their life and probably you know not really hurt anybody and die. But they're kind of like a burden on the state or on their parents on their parents i guess but there's nothing like immoral about it it's just like we don't really want to incentivize it 
I guess. Yeah. You know? Maybe. I, I guess at the same time, though, it's like this is a person who has no uh, mm -hmm. say in even being born. And in the first place, and it's like true. Like true. We're, you're you're purposely and knowingly hobbling them with a lifelong incurable condition, and like, do you have more responsibility to to do something about that? Because like, mm -hmm. it's not just it's not just you saying like I'm prepared to deal with the consequences of having to, to raise a child with this condition. It's like mm -hmm. I'm willingly, you know, kneecapping them with this condition, and I know it's going to happen. It's going to make their life more difficult. And I'm going to do it anyways. So, you know, just to make that question even more frustrating and complicated, uh, like it's it's not it, it's not exactly like if you you know do one thing, you'll have a baby uh, who like m might okay. Like if you if you have the genetic potential for Down syndrome, and like you have sex or what, you have a kid with someone else who like is also likely to have that, and then you have a kid with Down syndrome versus like if you have sex with somebody else who that's less likely and then you don't it's not actually like you're changing the baby that was born it's that you're just making a different baby so actually in, in like the moral implications of that are that what you're doing is you're sort of just choosing to not give life to one person who would just live a life with down syndrome and you're instead choosing to give life to a totally different separate person uh since like you know the, the same sperm won't probably be the thing this, that impregnates the same egg this is it's fucking complicated with issue. my head dude like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like a really philosophical way of thinking about childbirth that I've it's, never considered, yep. and it's fucking with my mind. That's that's me, baby. It's a lot. It's a lot to to think about. It's a complicated, multi-layered issue because like yeah. the ethical ramifications of taking every basically a position you're saying are every, complicated. Every woman you don't have a kid with is a kid yeah. you are choosing not to exist. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Interesting. And uh, that's that's part. By the way, um, let me just. I'll, I don't mind being totally clear on here. I fucking love incest in my porn. I'm yeah. so all about it. I think it's great in in most of its forms. I like uh, I like mother son. I like siblings. Uh, not as much into daddy daughter. That that can get a little strange. That's, that's I'm not the as interesting. Into. That's why I um I was interested in this leading up to this podcast because we mm -hmm. we've discussed incest plenty of times in the chat and we were talking sure. about it in there. You like mother son and i like daddy I do. daughter I do. uh hmm. but not so much the opposite in both of our cases yeah, and yeah i would like to really hear a, this from both of you because i'm into siblings and like cousins <laughs> but when it comes yeah. to parents i think it is horrifying so i would like to hear both of you justify this well, it, wait first it's the, the fantasy it's the fantasy uh, well, Before, I, I don't mean you're gonna fuck your mom nate i just want to know like like what is like is there any logical thing behind well, it like, before that we do that setup. though monkey mm -hmm. do you like uh, when you think siblings, who do you want to be the older one, boy or girl? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Okay. Nate, Both you have, have their a... benefits. I Perfect. mean, I, I like the big sister. I definitely like the one son okay. or whatever. Because I'm more I'm into, into little sister for the same reasons, I think, For as I am into daddy-daughter. What, what's well, interesting to me yeah, go on, go on. Uh, about that, Nate, is... Mm -hmm. I, and I think I know, like, this is the best logic I could come up with. And this is going to sound uh -huh. real <laughs> gay for both of us. Okay. <laughs> okay. But... I'm an older brother and you're a younger brother. Oh, and true. You're closest true. with Ben. I'm closest with Victor. You know. Yeah. So like, yeah. if you if if. So you're the daddy and I'm the son in this sort of in this. Uh... <laughs> no, what what I'm saying is that like you would be interested in older <laughs> sisters because of the fact that like you were closest with your older brother, and like maybe you've always had like in your mind like what if what if I what if my mm -hmm. older sibling like who cares for me and stuff was actually like a hot chick I could fuck you know cause that's how yeah. I think of little like wanting sure. a younger sister I'm always like what if my little brothers were a hot chick I could fuck like how much that better would my life have been you know that makes sense to me yeah well see that's that's, that's kind of what bite right there that's <laughs> what I was gonna say that, I, that I like about I uh, like mother and son stuff what, what I like about the mother and son stuff is that it, it's actually pretty similar to the um to like the older sister thing. It's that like, okay, so you're just going about your life and like you've just, you've got a mom and like she's a woman, you know, she's always a woman and that, yeah. that doesn't change. And it's like always below the surface is this question that like, you know, we totally could fuck. We totally could fuck if we yeah. wanted no, to. No, it's you know? not. I was to say, is that? I've well, never. Well, no, in, in my goddamn possible. pornographies, god oh. damn it, in my fantasy hentai. You keep saying eyes. you when I think you're talking yeah. about us. <laughs> well, I, I can't speak for you guys, but it's not, Please uh, don't. you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 the fact that like there's a woman just in your life all the time and society says you're totally not allowed to fuck her but then you could you yeah. totally could and i'm saying you in the sense of in this fantasy you know hentai verse 
Uh, and that's it. And, that, and which is similar to like the older sister thing. And like, yeah. you know, there's like the, it's a little different. Like the, the old, the mom thing is more like, oh, dad's always away. No one's here to satisfy me. I'm a woman. Right. I have needs, blah, blah, blah. They, and then they fuck their son. Whereas with the older sister, it's more like the sister. I always picture like Kesha when I think about this. Like, oh, she, she's like <laughs> a like black she, woman. She, Kesha is, is Kesha's white, dude. White, dude. Oh, she's fucking Mick Jagger's daughter. She um, has a fucking um, wait, number Kesha's sign Mick in her Jagger's name. Daughter? I thought it was a black person. Uh, I think so. <laughs> Uh, let me double. I could be wrong about that, but but like the point is like she comes bombing and drunk uh, from no, the club. I'm, I'm getting a like, hard no from someone who knows Kesha. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but uh, uh, so so she comes bombing in from the club. She just collapses on the ground. She's like, yeah, uh, I was out just like clubbing, and and uh, I'm such a slut. Look at me. And she's like trying to impress her little brother. And the little brother's like, yeah, whatever, dude. And she's just mm-hmm. like, no, you don't understand. Like I do this because because I want to get your attention. I want to get your attention because you're always there. You're the guy who I really want to impress. And then they fuck. And that's, uh, you know, I, 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 uh, I, I don't dislike like mother, son or sister, uh, older sister, but Mm -hmm. like if it's older sister in both cases, I prefer if the son is like at least a teenager. Oh yeah. I can't stand the show to shit. Yeah. Like, Mm -hmm. cause it's always those tiny dicks. Don't do it for me. Tiny dicks (laughs) do not do it The tiny dicks don't do it. And just like the woman being like, just like massive and smothering, like yeah, I, that's definitely yeah. a different fetish is like mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. wanting to be like tiny and to just be like encompassed by a woman like have because in those ones it's always yeah. like a little shota and then like a, a mom or sister with like just giant tits and like a huge thick body that's just like covering the yep. little boy yep. to the point of like you know and that i feel like is a whole different thing well did you uh, that like just this... reminded me that mm-hmm. after the fetish episode somebody did make art of hippo as jesus in the pieta and it's really great oh yeah it, it does i, I don't <laughs> hippo is listening in to this podcast yeah. um i don't know if he wants to be in but i've gotten the impression he's more into shota than we are because well, he's he into seems he's to into like the, the, to those uh, big women so i think yeah that's he yeah. likes the big encompassing women it seems like so he can There's type a, in the chat if that's how he feels. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Shota, Shota, Shota is good. good. There you go. Good. Okay. You've got the word. The official word from on high. Shota is good, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We've got confirmation. Yeah. Hey, Nate, I have a question for you since you okay. you don't like uh, mother's son. As no, I ki- do. I do like mother's okay, son. Okay, well, since you do. As a kid, mm-hmm. did you watch Malcolm in the Middle? I did. I did very much. Because... As a kid watching that and the way that Lois would terrorize her sons, I think that is what scared me away from ever even thinking about something like that because it, it's terrifying. Well, you know what? Okay, I, I feel like with something like that, I don't feel like that even necessarily would have, like, drawn me away from it because the whole thing is, like, this is, like, a fantasy. About, like, like, what if, like, my mother was, like, this, like, super hot slut and she needs sex desperately, and I'm a man, <laughs> goddammit. Like, you know, like, you're putting yourself in this in this fictional situation where, like, if your mother was, like, this kind of person, then, you know, ooh, it would be sexy times. But, okay. uh, you know, so, yeah, so it's like a departure. So I, I could see why, like, seeing, a, like, a female, not role model, but, like, a female character, or, like, a mother, specifically, acting in that way, like, as, like, a terrorizing, you know, bitch of a mom would would like turn someone off well there's that that episode where she she walks around the house topless and i was wondering if episode one i'm pretty sure that's episode one i was wondering if you were into that um i remember as a little kid finding it you know eyebrow raising like oh what's going (laughs) what what have we going on over here (laughs) but uh yeah, and re- I remember distinctly. She opens the door, and Malcolm's teacher is there, <laughs> and she's not wearing a shirt. And she's like, the teacher's like, uh, da, da, da. And she's like, they're just boobs, lady, and I'm sure yours are much nicer than mine. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. I remember that you know, very nice. I, and she's like, no, no, I swear they're not. They're really not. I think, uh, while I, I'm not that into, like, uh, mother-son, but I am totally mm-hmm. into moms, like, in general. Sure, sure. Like, sure. Like, 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 in my porn, I'd prefer it be, like, if a guy is hooking up with someone who is a mom, that's okay. hotter to me. Just because, I don't know. Because you're cucking that kid. There's something. <laughs> like, like, I like to feel the baby inside when I'm, you know. You know <laughs> I didn't say pregnant. That's what I'm into. Well, I'm taking it to that place. <laughs> <laughs> for, for some reason, Having whenever a I moment see. moment over here. Whenever I yeah. see, like, mother-son stuff, I always have this, like, weird feeling like the mom is being irresponsible somehow. Oh, yeah. Of course. You know, of like, course. and that that turns me off a little bit for some reason, even it's though I like the definitely a bad idea, guys, to where... fuck your son. <laughs> yeah. Like, Moms should definitely not have sex with their kids unless no. absolutely necessary. Important PSA uh... from Nate Bestman. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
<laughs> Unless absolutely necessary. I definitely put that caveat in there. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> I shudder to think what the reason for absolutely necessary would be. Like, if they've got a gun to my head, man, what can I do? What can I, do? <laughs> I did have a gun to your head question for you, Nate, but I think Digi wants to finish. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I think I said Okay, nothing. Nate, in- incest mm-hmm. question for you. Okay. Gun to your head. You have to get a hand job from one of them. Ben or your sister? Well, obviously my sister, so oh, I'm not gay. Oh, fuck off. I'd That's get a easy. hand job from Ben immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need the gun. Don't I'm even just need the gun. looking for an excuse. <laughs> Nate, well, do you, you know think your sister is hot? Um, she looks well, like I don't want to be rude so sure. to her. Yeah, she looks sort of like me, so totally. Uh, you know, I don't want to be... It's it's weird for me to even think of her in those terms. Yeah, she, is, okay. uh, she is a perfectly attractive young lady who I have deep respect for. Okay. That's really the extent of it. I feel like... Uh, I, I, I know of a lot of s- stories of, like, siblings mm-hmm. who do end up doing more sexual stuff, like, if they're close in age when they're much younger, you know? Sure, sure. Me and Victor never did anything, like, weird together, but we did look at porn as kids together. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like, we mm-hmm. would, and just, like, I don't know, I sort of tried to teach him how to grind his cock against the ground, oh. which is what I was doing, but he didn't seem to get it. <laughs> but, like, okay. I definitely have known lots of sisters who've done stuff like that as kids, yeah. you know? Yeah, uh, Lena Dunham, my hero. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> right? count if your sister's right? a fucking baby. <laughs> oh, I think it counts. I'm counting well, that's it. The, that's the thing. I feel like uh, incest, when when you have close siblings and you're all going through that sort of pubescent age together, it's it, it would almost be weirder for me to think of it never happening, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, if you're, like, a year and a half apart from your sibling and both of like, Or even twin cyst. Yeah, or even twins. Sure, And sure. you're, like, eight or nine. I refuse to believe there's any twins who haven't fucked. Like <laughs> at that point, it's just masturbation. Yeah, yeah like they've true. definitely done something together. You can't be twins and not do anything, like, because <laughs> you're experiencing it at the exact same time. Like your bodies are both changing. Both of you are like quizzical about it, and you're extremely close with each other. So like, who else are you gonna share this with? You know? Yeah, that's the thing. That's so the thing. if you keep that in mind as you watch the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, it really has a different narrative <laughs> that's forming before <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> But for for me, like, a lot of my incestuous fantasies come from that sort of, that age. Like, being, discovering mm-hmm. your body and being like, who can help me understand this, you know? Who is in the best yeah. position? It's not a stranger, you know? And, and the schools don't teach you enough. Society doesn't teach you enough. You're, mm-hmm. you're, you're, you're just quizzical about your body. Who's going to help you learn about it? But your big your your big brother, you know, who's yeah. gonna help this little this cute little girl figure out? Who else out but Lena Dunham why, is going to take this burden? Why, why she's so hot down there? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's interesting. I have a different sort of approach to it. Uh, I, I notice in the stories I gravitate to, it's more like it's more like sort of like the like the mom notices like wow you've really become a man you've really become a man oh, yeah. now with them you know it's that that sort of angle i get yeah. that too yeah mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. that's interesting because we're, we're looking at this from very different age ranges like yeah i yeah. when i think i like little sisters and it's and daughters which is like a lolly thing for me you know mm-hmm. i'm mm-hmm. picturing like age eight to twelve and you're uh. probably picturing guys like <laughs> age uh. 16 to 20 or something yeah yeah something like that yeah um, because what I, what, what turns me on about the little sister or the daughter is that they look up to you. It's someone who's like really close to you, who looks up to you, who thinks you're the coolest person in the world. And like, all they want is to like be close and make you happy. You know, you know, I'm, I'm with you and I feel you on that. It's yeah. just that particular idea sort of strikes me as sort of emotional manipulation. Like, you really shouldn't fuck your eight-year-old sister, you know? It's just... <laughs> More it's sage really... advice from Nate Bessie. <laughs> it's not the best idea. So, you know, it, it's a fantasy. That, that's fine. But, um, yeah. like, that's just why... Like, I feel like I'm doing something bad, which I don't find attractive. Yeah, well, the best part about incest mm-hmm. is that 
None uh, of us would do it <laughs> with our real siblings. Right. Right. But, I don't know if Patchy came over and I was kind of drunk. You know, like you know, just <laughs> mm-hmm. a bro job. What what was going to happen? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> bro job. Yeah. What was the thing I was saying? I wanted us to do uh, cock handshakes. Yeah. Cock yeah. handshakes. Right? At, at uh, Radcon which, which someone right? then pointed out to me is just jacking each other off, and I legit <laughs> had not put that together when I came up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, you just grab the cock and shake it like you're shaking a hand. So it's like that's you're just masturbating them, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> You're oh, see, right. I always thought it was sort of like entwining the dicks together and then kind of gyrating oh, against each other. That's, that's how I was interpreting it. That's, no, I yeah. was just picturing everybody, like everybody standing in a circle, like grabbing each other's dicks and just like giving it a, a firm handshake, like once, just like, hello, just I've one met pump, your dick, right? You know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, still shit, on the table for Radcon three. <laughs> yeah, it's, we, we got plans. We got plans. Uh, I call it takes a lot of preparation. <laughs> So where do we where do we go from here? What, Hippo what are we, says you're what are we thinking of burst into? leaking. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Burst leaking. We really covered like the the main stuff there. Like I just wanted to talk about like all the di- there's so many different varieties of incest. Um, yeah. You know I don't know what you know. Monkey Brent mentioned sort of like more distant family members things like cousin fucking yeah. and stuff, yeah. which is actually kind of socially acceptable. You know depending on yeah. How far and away I mean they are like stuff. that's how anime gets away with all of it is that it's right, always right. a cousin. Like unless you're looking at because that shit pisses me off. Because I feel like you're just trying to get... Th- you're being fucking cowards. Yeah. Just commit. Well, just commit. it's because they want... Because the appeal, again, the appeal of the little sister is that she looks up to you, she's been with you your whole life, She mm-hmm. and she wants to ride the dick, right? But then it's always like, <laughs> oh, but she's not actually my sister. It's really my cousin. But she still calls me Onichan because I'm like a brother to her. And I'm like, you don't get to have it both ways. Like, to me, okay, that's just you? cheap. You know? Did you got to help me with this real quick? I've been wondering for a long time now. Is it actually a thing they do where, like, girls just call guys that they're really close with Onichan? Like, how yeah. legit well, any, is anyone, that? Any guy in the age range of, like, of mm-hmm. like a teenager to a young adult is an Oni-san. Like, right. Oni just right. means, like, a male of that age. So Does it mean brother? I thought specifically it can, it was... Well, Oni can also mean brother, yes, but it means both. Like, just mm, like oh. Oji-san can mean uncle or it can mean uh, a man Grandpa of in, in like the late yeah. 20s early 30s middle middle age oji son is middle-aged man i said oh gee son is grandpa or old oh, man jesus you know? christ okay <laughs> okay so, yeah. all right so speaking only, of yeah, which so what are our sense. thoughts on uh grandparent incest <laughs> is that where you guys draw the line or you is know that, okay uh, I, uh, grandmas I mean, are she's out hot. she's hot well no, grandmas, grandmas are, are out. not out there's some there are some hot grandmas out there but yeah, sure. but I, but 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 to me, a hot gram. Like, there's some people who are into like grandmas, you know, like a mm-hmm. fat, flabby old woman. Uh, yeah, not yeah. interested. If a grandma is still keeping it tight after all these years, that's hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know? like mum- Mumkey's grandma. We yeah. can all fantasize about Mumkey's grandma. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Mumkey's yeah, grandma right. is She's more a beautiful a woman. Grandma. Yeah. I always think of the uh, the grandma from Magical Shopping Arcade of Inobashi. You know that one? You know her? It's been way too long since I've seen it. Ah, whatever. Yeah. Um, I'd, I'd fuck a grandma. I'd fuck my own <laughs> that grandma. That wasn't the <laughs> question. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoops. <laughs> well, 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 but what I was going to say is while grandmas are, are less on the table, with there's this one porn. I don't remember what the fuck it's called. It's by this guy, mm-hmm. Yosino, who does all this great 3D porn. And um, he's got one where it's, like, these two super old grandpas fucking their, like, super young granddaughters. And okay. I've always got the sense from it that, like, they're doing it out of, like, respect. Like, oh, like, <laughs> you know, like these are the patriarchs of the family. And we, we, we uh, want to, like, please them because they're fucking oh old and they deserve oh, it, oh, you know. The and girls I think are doing it out of respect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. Right. The the girls are like, oh, we respect our grandfather, so we're going to fuck them. And they seem to be enjoying okay. it. So okay. I'm like, this is cool. Isn't that typical I like of that Japanese kind of. culture? Yes. That's why I that's why I have interpreted it that way. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not entirely sure if that's what the actual plot is because I don't Hey, man, read. cultural relativism. <laughs> what can I say? It's all on the table. It's yeah. all good. It's all fine. I can't I need to look criticize. up what that's called. I've got it on my computer. But you guys well, can talk. <laughs> I, uh, I, yeah, I was going to say, the whole, like, 
I like that that sort of thing in my porn of like you're kind of obligated to like fuck within the family sort of thing. Yeah. Like kind of like the, cool. the 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 Targaryen thing, you know? It's like I don't know. Isn't it kind of sexy that like uh uh Daenerys was like raised with her brothers and she's like and they're like, "Yeah, you're going to fuck your brothers. You're going to yeah. do this. You got no choice." <laughs> it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. I'm just saying. What um, about Cersei and Jaime? Like that's they're like a perfect they're the opposite though. I, I they really do it I mm-hmm. really like their incest because of the fact that they are grown adults and they've, like, had the kids and everything of the incest. And they're still, like, completely in love with each other. Like, it's really yeah. interesting to me. Because usually you see it as, like, when they're younger and then you kind of assume that eventually, I don't know, they stop when she mm-hmm. marries the king or something. But no, they're still fucking doing it, like, in their 40s. That's pretty cool. I agree. And I can't believe I didn't even think of this until right now, but um, Ore Emo. <laughs> Ore fucking yeah. Emo. Oh, Mago, uh, Z- Mago Zen Pen is the name of that old man fucking. If anybody was really, really needed that. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. Can you send it. me a link after this podcast? Uh, no, I've got it downloaded, so <laughs> just look up what Let I me said. just tell you. Let me just tell you my general feelings about Ore Emo. Okay, so Ore Emo is this fascinating story about a boy who wants to fuck his sister and she's dumb so she thinks she wants to fuck him too uh and like she slow like he slowly threw this doesn't them even hanging start out to together. describe the plot of ori Emo. it's close enough it's, it's the things that matter <laughs> neither one of them uh, wanted to fuck each other at the start of the series at all they, sh- they, they it was a uh, subtext okay, okay. but the, the, the point is they, <laughs> they get to that place and like they develop all these friendships over the course of the series and then slowly but surely and this is like or emo is where like incest is at its worst, really, in, in like fiction stuff. Because like, what happens is that he's built up all these friends, he's made all these connections. Like in the first part of the show, when like it wasn't just about the two of them fucking, the, you know, they, they just whatever they they develop relationships with lots of these people. And they, they they just live life. They just live life and do good stuff. And all these other women come into the guy's life that he can choose from. And slowly but surely, in the second half of the show, he just one by one kills off all those other girls and is eventually just left. With Kirino, he has sacrificed everything else in his life, all these other relationships, for this incestuous relationship that's going to be a huge problem with a 15-year-old girl that is obviously not going to last. And, like, it just ends with, like, they kiss and then they break up. And it's so, like, when I look at that, it's just, like, this guy threw away all this potential good shit in his life for this relationship that he also threw right in the trash and that he should have known from the start, like, wasn't going to go anywhere. Um, I thought they got married or some shit. They, I mean, it's, like, different in the manga or, like, the novels versus the anime or something. Like, in the anime, which is the thing that I watched, which yeah. which made me want to die, they just kiss, and then they're like, okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. And there's some subjects that are like, ooh, maybe they'll keep dating in secret or something. But, like, or, why? See, what the fuck is that about? Oreimo is the dumbest way to do, because, yeah. okay, the, have you seen Genshiken, any of you? At all. Yeah, I've seen the whole thing. Yeah, so you remember that um, early on there's like a discussion about incest where, because mm-hmm. um, Madarame, the character who is my yeah. my my boy, uh, is the, big the man, big yeah. into little sisters and lollies and shit. And uh, Sasahara, <laughs> the main character guy, he is not into little girls at all. He's all into big beautiful b- bitches. Big big. He's boot, my boy. Big yeah. hippo kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. He's a big titty boy. And the reason for that is that he has a younger sister who's, like, again, Guro, who he fights with all the time. And so he sees it as, like, younger sisters are completely disgusting. Like, he's not even slightly interested because he has this contentious relationship (laughs) with his. And um, my friend Donsan, who is the one who, like, got me into, like, deeper deeper otaku shit, you know, he was Uh very much the same. He had a little sister. He argued with her all the time. He thought little sisters were totally out of the picture. And the funny thing about it is that the way Kirino's relationship with her brother is portrayed early in the show is mm-hmm. exactly that kind of relationship. Like, they're at each other's throats. They don't like each other. Like, That's right. It felt very realistic. And then exactly. the show somehow bends over backwards and pretzels itself to make them end up together. That's, that's and the it whole makes problem no right there. Sense. It's just the most earth-shattering, like, reversal of, like, an actually good idea that yeah. just fucking makes me want to die. It's nuts. It's fucking insane. Yeah. And, like, it, it's weird because, like, if that's what the dude wanted to do all along, like, why did he take this, like, weird, circuitous path that was actually made sense and was, like, the total opposite of that? I don't know. It just it baffles me to this fucking yeah. day. <laughs> 
<sighs> anyway, now that you've derailed us with Oreibo for a <laughs> It's relevant. It's relevant. It's the most interesting thing that happened in an it's incest It's probably the most famous anime. incest anime that's out there, other than maybe yeah. Kiss X Sis, which I don't think those are his real sisters in that show. I Yeah, I think you're right. Have any of you guys seen the shitty Adam Sandler movie, That's My Boy? No. No. No, I have not. It was the first time, and I've I've never been into Game of Thrones or any of that, so it was the first time I'd seen incest propelled in the mainstream, at least in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Uh, the plot of the movie is Andy Samberg is the son of Adam Sandler, and that he's getting married, and then Adam Sandler finds out that the fiancé is fucking her brother, and it was played as a joke, and I thought it was funny, and yeah. I was the only person laughing in the theater at the big reveal, and everybody around me was like this, this awkward... R- really like they're in awe and disgust and they're kind of horrified by the film and that was the first time that i realized oh maybe the mainstream people are more horrified of this than i think because i thought this was funny for a for a shitty adam sandler i think this Mm -hmm. podcast right here is probably the most positive that four people have been about incest publicly ever in history (laughs) it's quite possible (laughs) Like, even the guy who has no incest fetishes is like, yeah, man, stay out of people's bedrooms. Like, Mm -hmm. granted, Mm -hmm. Tom is also the guy who wrote um, the, what's it called, Tom? Men are better than women. How do you want to describe it before I have to describe (laughs) it? (laughs) How do you want to salvage the description of your your pony fanfic um, about underaged (laughs) or sex? There's no way to salvage it. Is this not the Trixie one? Is this something else? No, the no, one he wrote else. about Scootaloo uh, having sex with a like thirty year old guy. Um, that sounds great. I don't and remember. It's a it, full but that novel, awesome. and it's it was, good. It was what? a full novel. It was yeah. it was received to wide acclaim, which disgusted me to this day. I had no idea. <laughs> what? But you, you wrote a full length pony novel. He wrote yeah. a full length pony like, fan fiction. Twenty thirteen novel. It's horrible. Holy shit! <laughs> about one of the little wait. Girl how did you not know that? Up with an older I, man. I don't know. I guess maybe I just got confused, and whenever like it came up, I just kept thinking it was like the Trixie comic for oh, some maybe. reason. And it's like, like I always thought, it's... I always thought you were saying like you'd never written a book, but here you go. Here's your breakout hit, that, dude. That doesn't count as a book. That's not real. It's not a real you. book. Is the old man a human or a pony? It's, it's still there. It's all it's all horse gay shit. Oh, okay, good. Good, but good. um no um but the older guy is also like borderline XB for Tom himself. So. What was that guy's cutie mark? Everyone was said it some that. Sort of that wasn't like... even the point. But yeah, but he did come besides... off as... Well, I, I maybe guess. just because it's written from his perspective, so it sounds like Yeah, you. yeah. That's, it sounds like he was brony possible. curious, for sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, that's where... Th- <laughs> oh I thought my God, was, is that where that came from? I didn't read from? the whole thing, but I thought it was good. <laughs> <laughs> um, well... Yeah, I don't even. What was your even your question? Just no, I was what, just pointing. What does it have to do with what we were talking about? I was about? just pointing yeah. out that you that that while you are not an incest fetishist, I cannot pretend as though you're like the normie here who oh, also is okay with incest. Right. I, you know? No, clearly no. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, Everybody go read Damn. that fanfic. I don't remember what it's called. Send it. I po- want to Post a link in the description, Ben. I know you're going <laughs> to listen through when you edit this. So. <laughs> of course. <laughs> ben, ben can dig it up. Hey, if we have, well, if we're not, you know, super into incest, we can just do 30 minutes of questions. I yeah, could, I was just thinking, maybe uh, let's just switch over to that. I can since, potentially uh, say more about incest. Um, if you got a, if you got a thing you want to say, yeah, go for it. I don't know how deep I want to get into it, but because like, because mm-hmm. yeah, you guys are talking about it as like a fetish. I had yeah. never thought of incest as a fetish. Like, it was more just a tag. Like, it's not something I sought out. I like it, especially, like, again, like a older brother, younger sister stuff. But more because, mm-hmm. like, I mostly encountered it so much because I like lollies in general. So I would sure. come across a lot of that. You know, it wasn't so much that I was seeking it out. Um, and so, like, I, I, I wouldn't have said I had, like, a fetish for it until recently. And that's because it turns out that you while you... S- your girlfriend looks exactly like she'd be your sister? That is... Well, that too, and uh, <laughs> and she's, like, way into that idea. Hey, you know, so... my uh, my little sister's name is Grace, and Ben's first girlfriend was a girl named Grace. Oh, I'm just saying. Fuck. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, but it's funny you say that, because they were... The dick show I was listening to just before, like, earlier today was about how mm. he was saying, like, I couldn't fuck a girl who had the same name as my sister. I, Ben's got I no problem of, with that. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree with that statement. I don't think yeah. I could do it. 
That'd be but really weird. If I met I a girl named Patchy, it would just make it. me harder. But, <laughs> but anyways, my perception of in- incest as a fetish has changed dramatically upon the realization that you can roleplay that fetish. Like, yeah. all you have to do is just pretend like, okay, you are my sister. And it's like you're fucking your eight-year-old younger sister just because sure. you say that you are. And Didn't so you have can... to put the age in there. Could it just... Yeah. <laughs> no, I had that part out. He, he it's... likes the little age. He likes no, the young. It's got to be... Problem. Right. It's fine. It's got to be a little girl or else it's not yeah. who, who am I to judge? I shouldn't butt in. Because <laughs> no. uh, if, if, if she's the, her real age, then she's just my wife, you know? Like, that's... Right. She can still be yeah. your sister. Mm, it's not... you got to compartmentalize these <laughs> All things All sisters aren't eight... <laughs> It's we, yes, we can't they, question. Yes, they are. They're all eight. And <laughs> <laughs> it's eight, eight, eight when they s- develop sexually. In, s- they don't develop, develop shit interests. at age eight. It, yeah, girls start developing at eight. Um, no fucking way. I do. There I'm were sure girls in my start. fucking class in third grade who had tits, like real tits. Like they start at eight. <laughs> girls start way younger at than eight? guys. Yeah, guys start around ten. Girls start. They around get their eight. periods at like age ten. They first of all, you can start getting wet before you get your period. And so you probably okay. The more right. you know, <laughs> I've interviewed a lot We're of girls down about their sex now. lives. So, yeah, um, let's keep going. I'm it, learning things. I, I don't like need it. To know this about. is good. This <laughs> is interesting. No, I it just I. But there was a period where I was trying to write um, novels, and all the characters I wrote were young girls. So I interviewed a bunch of women mm-hmm. about what it's like to be a young girl when you start developing different sexual feelings. Who, Pretty like your fucking the, mom? Who'd you ask? No, like people online. Oh, like okay. uh, women I knew in the anime blogging sphere, and mm-hmm. uh, you know both girlfriends I've had. So uh, the c- answer I always get is eight. Eight is about when you start uh, thinking about sexual stuff. And then, are we here are, on the PCP going to officially say the age of consent should be eight years no, old? No, 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 no. Is that what we're no. doing here? The age okay. of consent should be twelve years old. Twelve. <laughs> okay. All right. Mexico's All right. got it right. I put it at, like. 15, 13, something around there. Well, see, the, the, way, the, way my, the way my fantasy usually goes is you start you start at 8 is when the, the interest develops. But by the, it's, it's not until a few years later that you actually go all the way once their right. body is That's when is your ready. dad takes you into yeah. the back room and he starts to <laughs> exactly. explain to you and he starts to feel you and show you how it works. Exactly. Right. Okay. okay. Understood. Yeah. Understood. He knows what's up. <laughs> he said, uh, yeah, he knows his way around. Well, I, I do want to say, Digi, that... Um, Something was just uploaded to YouTube that I, I think might be the perfect example <laughs> of the worst video that you could ever possibly see. Do okay. you know how you and your girlfriend have been doing that series of reviewing every Pokemon and looking yeah, at the pictures and that. stuff? Well, wouldn't you know, uh, our, our good friend of the show, future PCP member Psy, just oh, uploaded right. his own version uh, co-hosted by Asperger, and it's two okay. hours of them hmm. reviewing just the first 60 Pokemon. So they're taking their sweet time. Uh, yeah, I guess they so. They need to move it along, guys. I think Digi uh, would get a lot from watching that video. His two favorite people copying his idea and doing it twice as long. Are they just like, uh, why would I want that? <laughs> what, I, I'm confused. What, what is I'm your... confused. What is the relevance? What is the relevance to our topic here? I don't understand. Are you just trying to shout out that video? Is that is that your point? No, because I was thinking about how him and his girlfriend uh, do that series, Mm. and then this just popped up in my sub feed. I see. I haven't actually watched it. Okay. Okay. Two hours. Well, they need to hurry their fucking asses up. They should have cut every Pokemon in two hours. Yeah. I was just Um, saying. I thought that mm -hmm. would be like the ultimate video to piss off Digi, but I guess I was mistaken. (laughs) It's it's hard to piss off Digi. Uh, anyway, uh, we want to move to c- questions now. Are we done? I have nothing let's, else. Yeah. Let's do it. I got nothing else to say. I don't want to go uh, legal, any deeper Hashtag than legalize done. it. Uh, hashtag, uh, <laughs> you know, let me fuck my mom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, just, just all the hashtags, <laughs> hashtag. you know, legalize. You ever jack <laughs> off to your mom at all? Uh, I can safely say no. I can safely say Monkey? no. Not even tempted. No, never. Tom? Never. Okay, you, okay, here, here's, here's the thing. Um, um, at there, I'm just gonna say that at some points in my life, I have acknowledged that my sister is a girl. Yeah. I have been aware of that fact. If you if you understand what I'm saying, you jacked off to your sister. Uh, I am not saying that. I, <laughs> no, no, not saying that. I'm not saying that. Um, I, when I was like, when I was particularly <laughs> like depressed, lonely, learning about uh-huh. sex, twelve years old, I jacked off to like every woman in my family. I think every woman That's I'd ever come into contact with. 
<laughs> I've pro- like you know, probably I, jacked off thinking about it, at least briefly. Usually followed by immense guilt and realizing it wasn't a good idea. But yeah, I, I was gonna say like to me it's weird. I I felt weird sometimes. Like I didn't do that, but like I would like into my mind I would force myself to just concentrate on like one of my classmates, like one specific one, and be like, yeah, now I fucked this person yeah, in my brain. Same. It's fucking sick. It's uh, here, actually, before we move on from incest, I want to take you all to the mm-hmm. darkest side of incest, the worst Excellent. element of it that I hate. That has affected me in a in a very in, in a way that makes me sick and want to cry. Okay. Have you ever had incest dreams? No. Anybody? No. Uh, I yeah, I, I think I have. I think I have actually. Yeah. How did that go? I'm pretty sure I fucked my sister in my dream. I, I believe I did do that one time. Tom, you ever and, had uh, incest dreams? Yeah. I've never had incest dreams. So I've had but dreams. Again, I rarely remember my dreams. So who the fuck knows? That's true. I mm-hmm. I've had That's dreams. That's a terrifying thought. I've... Thank you for for planting that <laughs> into my brain. I've I've had incest dreams and they are horrifying and they always wake me uh, make me wake up like feeling like I want to throw up everywhere and it's like the worst experience of my life is incest dreams. It's the worst part weird, is man. when you have to go clean up your underwear afterwards. No, none of them are <laughs> none of them are the sexy kind. They're all like horror. Like all my dreams are nightmares. Oh really? Like every dream I have is a nightmare. So my incest dreams are all like terrifying and bad, and I legit wake up like feeling I I actually am gonna throw up. Like well, hang on. Horrified. Why is are are you like in a sex dungeon being like raped or something? What's what's so bad about? I it? think there was one where I raped one of them. Okay, so that was bad. horrifying. I also dream about raping Victor, but I don't have the same reaction you do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, let's move on to questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Can we place. all agree that if we could, we would fuck Victor? <laughs> I think of we course. can agree with that. Uh, yes. Let me let me get it. I'll I'll be the questions boy today since I asked okay. on the. Uh, we're taking them from the PCP uh, Patreon chat. If you didn't know on if Discord, beca- what's the how much do they have to pay to get into the Patreon chat? Uh, just one dollar. Just one just dollar. dollar. If you're a patron at yep. all, you get into our exclusive uh, patron Discord. Um, it's the only place that discusses this show that is not cancer. So <laughs> that's true. true. The that's comment true. section on YouTube, utter cancer. Disgusting, deplorable cancer. The PCP fan the, Discord the PCP that I run. The PCP fan Discord can- that's a, that, cancer. That, that existed before <laughs> this, absolute cancer. Do not go there. You will want to kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but the patron one is okay. Uh, so we're the one that gives us money, them. conveniently, is great. Yeah. Well, because it's a paywall, man. Because only paywall. good people give money. It's uh, true. All right. From Tadpo, he asks, how do you deal with backlogs after long stays away from the internet? This is something I have a lot of trouble with. I don't know about you guys. Hmm. You know, I like after like a weekend or something being away, just to look at my YouTube and see like all the videos that have piled up, I, I don't know, nothing fancy. I guess I really just try to just break it down and... Um, just ease into it one thing at a time. I, I'm pretty organized in the way I approach this stuff. So I'll like categorize it. Or if there's like a show that I've missed, I just try to get all the episodes so I have them at my fingertips and then I'll watch them when I need to. Yeah, I that's it. I end up leaving just a lot of shit unwatched. Like it's, it, mm-hmm. I can't, like, it, because it, they're still coming out. You know, like I follow yeah, enough yeah. channels to keep me busy throughout the day. So if I stack up a week of missed videos, and then that day, yeah, there's also yeah. a bunch of new videos coming out. It's like, oh, this is never going to happen. Um, I, I, sometimes I'll go through and I'll just cull the stuff that I'm like, okay, yeah. you know, I don't actually need to watch. Like the new Best of the Worst, for right. example, or, or something like that. Yeah, I usually know? skip Best of the Worst, but I won't skip half in the bag. But that's because it's too, easier to too. throw on in the background. And, mm-hmm. like, ironically, the stuff the stuff I watch the most on YouTube is the shit I don't have to pay attention to because I can just yeah. leave it running continuously. The stuff that I actually have to concentrate on, I often end up getting to like way later or I miss everything or I'll have a day where like, for instance, with hippo, he was doing his Imgavu attuitage right mm-hmm. when I was uh, traveling the country. And a lot of those videos were longer and stuff. And I felt like I had to watch them. So uh, I had like, a whole weekend of just like all I did was watch hippo videos until I was caught up, you know. What a weekend. Yeah. All right, um, uh, moving on to another question. I that guess, never happens to me word. because I am never away from the internet. Yeah. And also most of the people I follow, like Nate, never upload, so it's fine. Hey man, We Agua <laughs> is real. I uploaded last night at five AM. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah, me and uh Sheep over watched it this morning and uh What'd we you think? Ten out of ten? It it was let me say, the best part of waking up is not Folgers in your cup. It's Nate oh. on your screen. 
There you go. Right, I you love know, I love what you're doing with your Hillary Clinton fucking cutout. It's great. Oh, I've got big plans. We've got big plans. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Monkey, here's a question I'm actually interested in hearing your answer in because you know movies and actors a little better than, uh, than the rest okay. of us. Cucked by the laws of aerodynamics asks, which actor mm. would have would you have playing you in a PCP movie? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. We should we should cast the whole movie, all ten of us. Can we get John Goodman to play Gib? <laughs> <laughs> I just Why? think that makes sense. He's, you know, he's, he's not even British. Oh, oh, oh no, we, we use way. we use CGI and we we shrink him digitally on the screen. <laughs> it's perfect. And liposuction him on the screen too. While we're yeah, there. I mean, oh, do the oh, actors have could... to be close to our, our age? Because I've heard that I look like Martin Freeman, and I would like to be per- portrayed by him. But more likely, it would be oh, like Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood's like forty now, man. Yeah, but like, he looks he like looks he's fucking young. 15. That's yeah, he true. does. Um, do you like Elijah Wood? Would you have him play you? Yeah, he can, I'm, I'm he down can with play him. him. I don't know if uh, I don't know if he like is temperamentally similar to you. Or uh, he's he did one That's movie true. where he plays like this creepy kind of serial killer guy, so I think he can yeah. get into the demented state of Monkey Jones. Actually, he's done I a few think of those. Michael Sarah should play Devu. For sure. Oh, that yeah. is perfect. A, that's a weirdly perfect. good. <laughs> right? He does look, uh, in like a weird way, I can totally see. In a weird see way, that. yeah. <laughs> um, that, why does that work? That shouldn't work I don't at know. all. <laughs> it's the hair. It's really the hair. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Tom, do you know who you would have play you in a movie? Um, I don't know actors. I don't pay attention to like yeah, that's what popular culture. I would just say Christian Bale because according to 4chan, I'm a Mexican I Christian Bale. Actually, I, I, I actually, I can see that. I can see you being. That's perfect. <laughs> Especially like from The Machinist. Like I like that how we're all picking Christian guys Bale. like way more handsome than us too. <laughs> all actors are. That's that's what movies that. are about, man. Yeah. Nate, see, you I was have gonna, an actor you'd pick without a doubt. It'd be Tom Cruise. It'd be modern Tom Cruise would play me. <laughs> He's the only man strong enough with enough mental fortitude to handle the lifestyle of the best guy I ever. I feel like you're, right. you're more jacked than Tom Cruise. Almost. Oh no, man! No. Nah. Is he like I'm, I'm working on it, but he, he is, he's a little short. He's a little yeah, short. He's, he's I, I'm short. fuck. I mean, like I'm probably the same height as him actually. But like for Hollywood, he's short. Um, I but he was nah, like, he's, he's a short. fit boy. Are we thinking I mean, have like seen, uh, Ellen be. Page to play Mage? I think Ellen Page, Page is isn't Mage. Mage. Isn't Mage like twice the height of Ellen Page? Ellen that Page that is, is true. That is true. No John idea. Goodman's playing hippo. Who fucking cares? <laughs> Digitally shrunk John Goodman. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted the, the poacher to say Page is Mage. It sells <laughs> itself. I feel like that the is, only answer I can come up with is Jack Black. It just seems obvious to me. Yeah, hmm. that's I, not bad. I don't know who else it could possibly be. So it's got to be Jack Black. I've been like, be a very interesting performance. Unless, like, uh, unless you wanted Paul to look Kogan like to play Jess. Uh, a lot of people say I look like that dude from Always Sunny. Um, whichever one. Well, don't Fat Mac. One. Probably Fat I Mac. Forget. Yeah. Fat Mac. Okay. Okay. So I Who's guess. Who's a really like big buff tough wrestler these days to play Jess? Fucking uh, Batista. Oh, what's that guy? Batista Glorious. should play Jess. I would. Yeah. Okay. Batista, okay. the guy but, from Guardians, right? But Batista. As he is in Guardians 2, should play hmm. Jess. Like, literally, <laughs> it should just be Drax the Destroyer. Like, in, in the paint and everything. It should play uh, <laughs> just like Jess. That. Yeah. Um, just with a wig on. You you have never seen anybody enjoy a character more than me and Jess enjoyed Batista in that movie. Like, he was... He's the greatest. Hey, it's the well, best what's character. What's the guy the who film. played? Uh, what's the guy who was an antichrist? Uh, Will, Will, Willem, Willem Dafoe should Defoe. play Ben. Willem Dafoe should play Ben. <laughs> yeah, <for sure>. I'm <laughs> totally. Like, that, that little goblin face going on. That's perfect. Wait, that's so who perfect. do we got for Munchie? That's the last one. Um, oh, Munchie should be played by God. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we'll see if he can uh, fit it in his schedule. We should get an actual gigantic baby boy to play to yeah, play Munchie. Baby boy! <laughs> I think Munchie should just play himself. Who else can be Munchie? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, he's got time. He can idea. be in the movie. <laughs> okay, Is that everybody, do we miss? Here's, yeah, okay. here's another similar question from Orca: If any person, fictional or non-fictional, had to join the PCP, who would you want on? Hmm. Who's just like an insufferable intellectual, pseudo intellectual? I mean, if, if we're going, like if we're going non-fictional, I want Max Landis on this show. Oh man, yeah, he's he'd a be good. perfect fit. He'd be good. Um, we yeah. would never get a word in. I would. That's true. I, I, it would just be me and him and Nate. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm sure that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And the podcast, we have to start yeah. our own splinter 
podcast <laughs> we actually say something. That's inevitable anyway. I don't know uh, the fictional characters. I, I want to get Donald Wars Trump on coming. the podcast. Tyrion Lannister. That'll... He'd be a That'd good be podcaster. Good. Trump would suck dick. T- Trump would just no, fucking... No, he'd be funny. I mean, Trump's just really be... funny. Okay, Trump would be funny. That's true. That's true. But he'd fail at making his points coherently. Well, like, he'd, he'd talk but in he's, circles. He's, and... he's a natural comedian, a natural showman. Like, if you watch anything that's Nate. not political, he's yeah, really Yeah, you funny. know, that's true. That's Nate. true. Considering mm-hmm. how dedicated you are to Pokemon going to the polls, you you have a moral obligation <laughs> to get Donald Trump on here and give him what <laughs> yeah. for. You're right. Oh, I thought you were going to say to to say Hillary, to have Hillary join the PCP, which is not, not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, not she's a bad got those idea. great jokes that would fit right in. She's, she's full of them, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, Here's uh-huh. – uh, is that everybody? I was I was actually going to read this que- – I did, like, ask questions on Twitter. There, there was just oh. one that I wanted to address just because it was sort of a logistical thing. Okay. It was at Fat Man Falling just asks, when are you releasing this month's bonus episode? And I just thought I'd tell everybody. We generally release those just on the first of the month, like, every week, every month. So, they, yeah, yeah that, that, that's it. That's it. So, hey. in, like, three days from now. Uh, uh, no, like – Oh, when this comes out? Yeah. yeah, it'll be like three days after this comes out. That's true. All right. Uh, the Jam asks, best and worst ways you've ever spent a shitload of money relative to whatever you think a shitload is? I know exactly what it is, but I've already told this story before, so stop me if I've told this. But, like, one day when I was young and I was really into Vampire Hunter D, and I oh, bought yeah. this $100 leather hat, <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know, I already told this. Is that the best or worst episode. way you spent a shitload of money? Oh, it, it's, it's kind of the both okay. at the same time. <laughs> Well, kind of, but, like, it's the worst because, like, I never once actually wore it and immediately regretted spending $100 on it. It was just, like, a whim thing. But for me, at that age, $100 was so much fucking money. It Uh, still is for me. It was a terrible idea. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a lot in general. Monkey Tom. Don't Once guess. every other month, when I when I finally hit the hundred dollar thing for YouTube ad revenue, that's a big deal, mm-hmm. my friend. Yeah, I finally did it. Free money you make for more doing than that. nothing. You make more than a hundred dollars well, a month. Only now, you because must. of me and Digi's podcast, but then I just give him half anyway. So, yeah. really, is that true? Yeah. Even with all your fucking big views on your gigantic videos. Do you know how many of those are demonetized? Oh no! Yeah. Are like they, <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> are they monetized because I use some song for like ten seconds? Well, yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. So but it's the, fine. The worst way I've spent a shitload of money relative to what was a shitload at the time is buying um, two different $130 Kanan figures for the anime <laughs> series Kanan, <laughs> um, which I'm scared to even rewatch, but. I've got <laughs> I've got like three hundred dollars. Just because you're afraid you've it. wasted your money on these fucking figures, yeah. you can't watch the show and again. And the That's figures hilarious. are broken now, so like it's it's Aww. a total wash. Uh, and really, all my figures I've I have some level of regret for all the expensive ones, um, you know, just because yeah, they're so expensive. Mean. But the best way I spent a shitload of money was uh, buying several hotel trips in rochester new york two three months yeah. ago <laughs> six hundred dollars uh a week but totally worth people it. are you know i hear people say things like oh what are you doing paying money to you know uh, for like why, why don't you buy local pussy dude what are you doing flying people around and stuff uh you know uh, as dumb argument if the it's pussy dumb. that good then it <laughs> yeah worth. that's right that's you right know? i mean last gotta... I, I would say if I had to pick another one, it would like another worst one. It would be the second trip to my ex girlfriend. Sure. The oh, first sure. one was worth it because it was four hundred dollars, and I lost my virginity, and that was nice. Mm-hmm. The second trip, not worth it at all. Should have broke up with her before that. So yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Probably spent even more on that trip. By the way, that just your figure story reminds me about how I've been wanting. I've had like a fantasy of buying like the perfect Kamino figure for years, yeah. and like they keep, there. There have been a bunch that come out that are pretty nice, and I'm always thinking like, yeah, one day I'll buy that. I don't know why I just don't. I just want to own it and build a little shrine the, to it. The worst part it. about the two Kanan figures is that they're yeah. they they're like jumping in opposite directions. The idea is that the two characters are like shooting at each other, so you buy both, and it's okay. like a set. Okay. Um, which is a clever idea, except that if you have them displayed that way, you can't see mm-hmm. either of them. Like, they're I both see. jumping away from each other, and there's no way to make it so you can see both of their fronts. So uh, it's the stupidest uh-huh. idea of a figure set ever, and I hate it. <laughs> you know, that just uh, uh, this was another that's both related to figures and, like, a, a terrible slash great purchase. This was both a good and bad thing. I know I've told the story before, but it's just, like, how I spent a billion million dollars in, like, a, 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 like a Tokyo uh, crane machine yes. trying to win, like, the second half <laughs> of my, like, CC or C2 and Colin set for a Cody figure S. that probably but cost now, $35. 
I, I'm sure it was far less than the amount of money yeah. I spent. But here they sit before me, linked together in this sexy ass pose. I'm looking right up C C2's cunt. It's great. It's great. You know, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So um, that that was both a terrible waste of money, but also it paid off long term. All right. Uh, Spooker asks, what are your most visited websites? V, 4chan, V. That's like the number one one I'm on, and YouTube. Tom? Um, well, mostly I go to YouTube all the time because uh, mm -hmm. I just, I've researched tons of stuff on YouTube. Uh, I have gone on Engadget every day for the last 10 years. That's not an exaggeration. Whoa. What's uh, up? What do they do there? What, what's it's, their thing? It's just like a technology blog, but they're becoming mm -hmm. super political, so I'm like tempted uh -oh. to jump ship because it's starting to get gross. Mm -hmm. Um... And then let me guess. Let me guess. They love Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, the best. Uh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm it's, sure. It's, they're the most red-pilled <laughs> site of all time. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really go to a lot of websites frequently. I just kind of YouTube just does everything. You know what? Google.com like, Google because I've, I've constantly yeah, needed to learn yeah. something, and like Google has got my back. <laughs> so it's yeah. Very Google's true. My best friend of all time. Monkey. Yeah, I just go on all the standard shit. I guess I also go to Reddit more than you guys probably do. Oh, we've got a Redditor on our hands, folks. <laughs> My <laughs> fucking hero. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm i one of those rare Redditors who was mostly on the Donald, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, of course. <laughs> I got Where else am I going to get real news? Every other website is fake news. <laughs> yeah, it's a conundrum. Yeah. I... The, the websites I spend the most time on are without a doubt YouTube and Twitter because that's where all my shit posting is. But, mm, like, mm. I just habitually, like, cycle through all my bookmarks constantly. So I check okay. my anime list every day and accept every friend request I get, which is, like, three or four a day. Um, I check Gmail, obviously. Uh, Reddit. I only go to Reddit for my own board. I don't actually go anywhere. The weirdest mm -hmm. one I go to, though, is every day I go to game FAQs and do the poll of the day. Oh, I did that huh. for a long time. I've done that for, like, okay. a decade. Like, I've been – I've voted in every poll of the day, I feel like. I'm going to go see today's Rarely poll. miss it. Today's poll is, have you ever fallen asleep while playing a video game? Absolutely. And, oh, mean, did I ever tell you my nightmare story about how I had just caught a shiny Butterfree in the bug catching contest oh God, and then fell no. asleep and the battery died and I fucking oh, lost it? no! Oh, I wanted to fucking kill myself. You <laughs> should have. It's I horrifying. It was a nightmare. Oh. It was literally the Butterfree that cucked Ash out of his Butterfree, the pink <laughs> one that stole it away. I caught her, but I let her escape. She slipped away. Oh, just like in the show. God, exactly. shiny Pokemon horror stories are the worst. I know, I know. I've only encountered one shiny Pokemon in my entire life, and it was when playing mm. Pokemon Emerald, and it was a shiny Wurmple, but it was before you got Pokeballs in the game. Oh, oh. no! Soul oh my God. evisceration, right? It That's was, the worst. It was, like, the biggest cock slap I've ever gotten by God <laughs> in my life. Ooh, I've got a shiny Cottony in Sun and Moon. It's the only shiny nice. I've seen, but I got I've it. Caught, I've actually caught kind of a lot. I've, I've caught, like, four or something over my career, Damn. which for somebody who just played, like, I, I've, like, played every game through once, but I didn't, like, grind for any of them, so That's I guess I'm kind of lucky. Ben, ben has never seen any, except for, like, Red Garrett, And Gerda, he plays obviously. more Pokemon than both of us combined. So. Yeah, as far as I know, yeah, it's just cray. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Shiny the Pokemon game... incidentally is pretty much the coolest idea ever. I fucking love yeah. it. It's insane and nuts. I love how low the percentage. It's it's great. I love it. All right, do you, how many more questions do we want? Do we want to keep it going? Let's do one more. Let's get a big finish. Okay, the big, best question. You want a real big epic finisher? Yes. You want one that's yes. gonna that's gonna tear our fucking listeners' ears <laughs> to pieces? I'm ready. Uh, Crafty asks, "Can y'all sing?" Uh, when I somebody was once boy, told me my father the world took me into the city I hate the to see a marching band. He said something. Now here's a story all about how my life got flipped and upside down. And I'd like to take a minute to sit right there. I'll tell you how I'm the prince of a town called Bill Hound. I pulled up to the house around seven or eight. I yelled to the cabin of home. Twenty later, worked into my kingdom. I was finally there to sit on my throne. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go. I want to change. I want to change. Most of my days, chilling out, marching out. And they say that a hero can save us. 
Alright, hopefully hopefully our wonderful editor will fade out at some point during that. <laughs> We will say. No, we're still we going, Ben. Don't cut it. Don't cut it. We're still going. And right, in case they that's say true. that. <laughs> in case that's true, I'm just going to say goodbye now. Right, bye. 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 Goodbye. Fuck you. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be